Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. You guys, let me know that you can hear me okay uh, when you pop in. Happy Thursday. This is a little happy hour for us, but I am excited to be here. I wasn't online yesterday, so you know guys, I miss y'all when I'm not here live. So I had to pop in here at least a little bit tonight. Won't be a long one because I've got a paint party at seven and that is like my favorite thing. So I am just gonna pop in here for maybe 40 minutes or so. Hi, Christy. Good, sounds good. Hi, Donna, glad y'all are here. Um, get me sprinkled out if you don't mind. And I am just, yes, got it. Okay, pulling this up. Hi, Cheryl, thanks for being here. How's everybody's week been? I'm so glad we're on the downhill slide. I know, Brooke, I know you are too. Hi, Deb, good, okay. Thank you. Hello, Leanne. Glad you're here. I'm going to show you guys just a couple of cute ideas for cards because we are getting into that time when we need to be sending cards. So as we get closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, we need to be doing this, guys. So if we start now, it's not going to be hard. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. And in my private group, we, hi, Diana, we are doing a card challenge along with Totally Dazzled. So you guys that are not in my private group are welcome to make cards as well. But what we are going to do is send them to the um, A Million Thanks Foundation and they distribute them to the military troops all across the country. So hello, Carrie. Glad you're here. So I thought I would show you guys a couple of ideas for cards, not just for that, but for anything. Hi, Dana. Um, Let's see, it's been a rough week. I know it has, Brooke. I'm praying for you every day. Hello, Sherry. You guys lift up our friend, Brooke. I know many of you know her. Hi, Margaret, glad you're here. Y'all tell me how your day's been. So anyway, I'm gonna show you a couple of quick ideas because listen, there is no reason to buy a card. Now only, you know, if you get it for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, that's one thing. But how much more special is it to have a handmade card? So let me show you a couple of really cute, simple ideas that you can do. And I'll show you with acrylic paint, but you can also do them with watercolors or markers, whatever you have. Hello, Leveda. I love seeing you guys pop in. Now, be sure and tell me how you're doing, how your week has been so that we can kind of, I love this like check-in time is what I consider it. So let me turn this around and down. Oh boy, these camera things are tricky for me, so. They, oh, by the way, y'all, they changed my Facebook page today. So when I went to go live, it's all different. So I'm going to do my best. Um, oh, I saw camo and lace. Hi, Teresa. Praying, oh, thank you for praying for our friend. Hello, Cherokee. Glad you're here. I may just twist this around. Let's see. Y'all bear with me. Okay, so close your eyes if you get dizzy you know and I'll, I'll just probably let's see if I can just slowly move this around hold on it's caught on something over here there how is that looking let's see you know it takes me a second to see what you see but hopefully let me just put this here so I can see if it's turned right and before I screw this tighter can y'all see? Hi, Laura. Okay, perfect. I can see it now. There. So I think that will be a good view for you guys. Hi, Trisha. Trisha, I'm going, if you're able to come to the paint party tonight, I'm going to do it as my name and not my business. So maybe we can see your comments. Hello, Monica. How are you? Y'all keep on saying hi. Hi, Mindy. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for being here on this Thursday evening. Okay, so a couple of ideas. So because like I said, this is, I, we are doing it as a group for the military. So I'm going to show you a super fast, simple card you can do um, with just red, white, and blue. And then I'll show you like a, a more of a fall kind of Thanksgiving thing. So this is going to be super, super easy. Yes, they did. I have... A tagging group the banner is now small on the left hand oh you got it changed too yeah well we have a little I have a little learning curve so we'll see hi Beth from Northern 
California. Awesome. Hi, Linda. Your sweet daddy's birthday. I know you do, Dana. You are such a sweet daddy's girl. I didn't have that, and so I really envy people that have that sweet relationship, but I sure got the best mom on the planet, so for me, anyway, so I can understand how bad it hurts, and the memories are there, and they're good, but yet you still miss them, so I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Twyla. How sweet of you. I'm kind of glad to see the stars because we have not been having a stars party lately, so maybe it's just because... Uh, Facebook was, you know, doing all that they're doing for the changing of everything. Okay, so look at these cards. I just am realizing this. I got these in the clearance section at Michael's a while back. So do you see how white they are on the inside? And then kind of like a, I don't know, eggshell color on the outside. So you could technically turn them. I'm going to on this one because I'm doing red, white, and blue. Now I don't even have to do the white. I thought I was going to have to paint white, but I'm just going to turn it like this and paint a quick abstract looking flag and you guys just let's see i just washed all my brushes for my paint party and so i have the pick of what i want and i think i just want to go back to this one i was trying to save it but i'm going to use it okay we ready Thank you, Levada. So far, the changes are not good. Oh, you're so lost. Oh, Christy. I have not had time to look at it, to be honest. I've been so busy today with all the website stuff and YouTube stuff and all that. Okay. What? Oh, it does? Twyla, I don't see a thing. Well, that's cool. I'm glad that it's showing something on y'all's end. Okay. So we know that you know, we're going to want a little blue corner up here. So I'm just going to kind of come in. I want it to be kind of, like I said, kind of abstract and fun and funky. So I'm just going to paint this blue. I'm going to put down a little paper towel because if I don't, I'm going to get my whole table messy with this. And I am going to open it up. But I, you see, I'm kind of turning it upside down so that I can get right along this edge and just kind of get the edge here so I don't mess it up and then I can turn it back around this way okay and I'm gonna pick up just the tiniest bit of white and put that in in a couple of places give it a little bit of motion by adding that white and kind of using my brush to kind of make it have just a little bit of movement Super simple. There is no wrong way to do a handmade card. That's the good news is whatever you put on your card is totally fine. And somebody will just be so grateful that you made them a card, right? Can you imagine getting a handmade card in the mail? Because anymore, it's all just, well, a lot of people just don't send them anymore. And if you do get one, you know, it's just a generic, nothing special. I mean, it's thoughtful, but how much more thoughtful and you can do these in batches so it, I would just line these out on my kitchen table when I do batches somewhere where I have space and then just do them all at once and I'm just gonna wipe off my brush and oh that's okay you know I don't have them either I have the little star down here at the bottom of my computer um, but I don't have like when I click on it it says um, you are, oh, I don't remember now the message. It didn't say I'm not able to, but it, it acts like I'm going to get to go buy them. And then it says, I don't remember if it says not activated. I can't remember what it says. I've gone into there. I've tried to look. I don't see anything. So I don't know. Oh, Mary, thank you for the stars. You guys are awesome. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Christy. Thanks, Beth and John. John, you're on limit. No more. You already sent me stars today. Y'all, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll go back and, and look at everybody. It will be really late tonight because I've got that party. Okay, so I'm going to come up in here. I'm going to do wavy little kind of stripes. Um, I don't mind. You see how it runs out? I kind of like that because it looks very artistic. So you can just leave it if you want to. You know, if you're kind of a perfectionist, you might want to go back. But I kind of like that. It just, you know, it's just your brush strokes and... 
um, looks kind of cool that way. Obviously, you're not going to get 50 stars and 13 stripes on this little card unless you did them really small. But look how cute that is, and it took us like two minutes. And that's all you need to do right there. Well, we'll do something to this to this blue part. But talk about simple. And then you just write them a little handmade note or a little handwritten note on the inside. Hey guys, I'm definitely gonna send my challenge, but picture, but Lord, you don't want to see me without makeup. <laughs> that's okay. You know what? With or without, everybody's beautiful. I do too, Christy. You, I know you've seen my flags I've done that are real artistic like that, and I think they're really cool. Okay, so guys, I'm going to take white. I just dipped it into my palette. I think that's off camera. So dipped it into my white, and then I offloaded it to get a lot of it off, and I'm just going to do this and just kind of dot it down. I am not going to try to make a bunch of little stars. I'm not going to worry about it being even. This is an artistic flag so you don't have to that's kind of what's nice about something like this is you don't have to worry about being exact with numbers do you have a star song i do i do did i get them i don't see anything on my end i don't see one single thing thank you elizabeth you guys are amazing thank you twyla everybody vanessa i'll go back and sherry mindy mary i'll go back and be sure every one of you is thanked so I so appreciate it. So that is it on that card, y'all. I'm not kidding. That is all you have to do. <gasps> Did I get it? Sing it, girl. Hi, Blakely. I love seeing you pop in. How are you tonight? Hi, Monica. Um, we are testing the reels because Linda doesn't have the option on them to send stars. Oh, well, I sure appreciate you, John. And it certainly is not necessary at all. You said because of all I do and Trust me, this is my pleasure, 100%. Um, okay, <laughs> listen, before I sing it, y'all, I have a terrible singing voice, but I'm just grateful for you all, so I'm going to sing to y'all my little Texas song, and I want y'all to sing along so that I'm not embarrassed. The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> That's it. That's all I sing, and that is... Uh, your daily dose of the gong show I watched a little bit of um, is it American no not American Idol uh, the voice the other day I, I really enjoy that show because I love music and are y'all watching it so yeah I, I wish I was talented with music but I am not thank you guys so much for oh good John clapped Thank y'all for the stars and just for hanging out with me. Okay, so that's easy, simple. Then you write your little note to the troops and that is all you have to do. So you could see where you could batch these out and do like 20 of them all at once, super fast. Hi, Lisa, I'm doing good. Y'all, my back is probably as good as it's, it's not great, but it's as good as it's been in a long time. So I'm having a really good day with my back. So I'm really happy. The gong show. <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. I don't know how. I don't know how that could make your day. Thank y'all. Your husband. <laughs> what do you think of Gwen? I think they're a cute couple. I think, you know, if he's happy, I'm happy. Um, but I, I like her. You know, she's from my generation. And, and um, I know her music is kind of weird or whatever, you know, to a lot of people. But I just like people. I like so many people. Like all different kinds of people, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I know a lot of people don't like them as a couple. You clapped and sang, Dana, yay. Is anybody on here from Texas or have any connection to Texas? Y'all let me know. Shelly, uh, you can do either one. They don't specify so I'll get on there and double check. I had a couple of questions to ask um, on that. So I'll get on there and find out and give you more info. The dog came in. <laughs> what is going on, mom? I've already got a little blue. Let me see if I can do enough of that blue. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wash my brushes before the paint party because I'm just going ahead and using these that, you know, they're, you just have your go-tos. So I'm just doing some black or blue and white and we're gonna do a little sky. So just mixing those two and kind of coming up here. 
Guys, handmade cards are wonderful, so you don't have to be perfect. You're just getting it done. Let's turn it this way. Oh, I can't now since I did the sky that way. Nope, well, we're gonna do it this way then. Deb wasn't thinking. And I'm gonna do a little more white, get that a little lighter. Simple, simple. I like to show y'all simple ideas so that you'll do them. If I get on here and do things that are too hard or too technical, well, not that I can do, you know, I'm not a, a fine artist by any means, but um, I like easy stuff for myself because it's relaxing and I assume that a lot of people do as well. So that's why I do this type of thing. And I figure if I make it easy, you guys will more likely do it. Um, because, you know, when things are hard, we're just usually going to be like, oh, maybe another day. And But you make it easy and we'll get it done. <gasps> you did, Barbara? Oh, that's awesome. Tweaked your bag, Twyla. Isn't it, the, isn't it miserable? I just really hate back issues. Um, okay, so I'm, oh, I need a ground. Hold on, hold on. Getting ahead of myself. Let's do some ground. I'm going to do some green going this way. I should have put out a little yellow, so let me grab a little yellow. Easy simple design here just so that you can get a few cards made quickly and this one will work um, so for the troops you know when we send them um, I can't believe I just got brown on my brush hold on trying to hurry and you have a cousin in Texas Cheryl hi Denise I'm glad you're here I love it when you guys pop in and I know everybody's busy, so you might not have, you know, time to stay long. And I won't actually, I'm looking for my green. I actually won't be here that long. But I just miss you guys when I don't go live. And I wish everybody could be in the group, you know, and then I could just visit with y'all all the time. Anytime. Okay, so I've got the green going on one side. And then I've put yellow and have a little lighter shade over here and keeping it very whimsical. I'll probably add a little bit of the yellow into my other side, right here at the top, and then let it kind of stay darker at the bottom. So wherever the sun would hit it would be dark, I mean, uh, lightest. And then, so we'll have the darkest part at the bottom and lightest part at the top. Okay. Now, I need to switch to a smaller brush. That was a little big. Cousins are in grapevine. Deb, have we talked about that? Was that you? Because I, I remember telling somebody my brother used to live in grapevine and raised kids there. I can't remember who I was telling that to. And he's in Tennessee now. And I really want to get that way. I want to, to make a trip and go. Okay, so there's our little whimsical ground. We're gonna make a little tree trunk with just some brown. I'm gonna use this green, a little green to put with my brown just to make it a more interesting color because my, my brown is a little bit light. So this will darken it up, give it a little bit of different color to it. I'm, I'm gonna have to add a little black. It's just too light. You live in LaGrange. Kim, that is by, is it is it the Hill Country? Or is it Houston? I know I've heard of it. Okay, so I'm just adding a little brown and black so that I can darken this up. And I really went too high on that trunk, but that's okay. Most of this will get covered with our leaves, but I'm just gonna kind of quickly get something on here. Oh, no, for real, for real. It's all about having fun. And as you're doing your art just to have fun for yourself, you start picking up things and you start realizing, you know, what looks good together, what doesn't and all that. I'm just adding a little green kind of at the base of our tree and then I'm gonna start using our fall colors. So I'm gonna do some brown. 
and get kind of a little base. Under here, I'm going to add some orange, but I'm going to kind of mix my brown with it so it's more interesting. Orange isn't the best orange. Just grabbed one. Gotta put those in. So see, this does kind of look kindergartenish if you think about it, but it's supposed to. It's abstract art that's not supposed to be, you know, fancy. It's just fun and relaxing. I'm grabbing my little wine, cranberry wine that I love so much. Putting some of that in here. Now I can start kind of making leaf shapes. So just whatever small brush you have, this is around and it's pretty small, you know, just kind of put it down in different, like, you know, some going one way. I'm just twisting the brush or twisting my wrist. And the brush is doing the work. I'm just setting it down. And as long as you're twisting your wrist a little bit, it's going to be in different directions. So they're not all looking, you don't want like a pattern. And then I'm going to go back into my orange. All I did was wipe it off. I don't really need to do much more to that than that. And I'm going to kind of try to go in between. If I hit on some of them, that's fine because it'll just blend the colors. But I'm just going to add some of the orange. And you know what I forgot to do? I need to add a few of these down here, like the leaves have fallen. And let's do, oh, I didn't have my yellow. Let's do some yellow. You can paint checks. Oh, I know, Mary. I love your checks. You could do that. This is so easy. This is literally, your kids could do this. This is just a fun, whimsical card that you can send somebody and make their day. I mean, we're talking, what, five minutes? Not even five minutes. It's just for fun. The first color on the leaves, I think we did green first. Let me just go through real quick. We did um, evergreen. And then we added a little black. We did warm sunset. And because of the color of it, I added a little brown. We did a little bit of dark chocolate and cranberry wine and then my ochre, deep ochre. So those are the ones we used. Okay, simple. That is all you have to do. You're done. I mean, simple. You could make a cloud if you want to, but you know, Seriously, it's just so, so easy and fun. So, you know, you could set up a little TV tray and do this while you're watching TV or, you know, whatever you have to be doing. Um, and you're also relaxing and you're going to be able to bless somebody with a handmade card rather than store-bought. So any brush, I mean, you can make any brush do this, but I'm just kind of dry brushing my paint on there. Um, in just some kind of cloud shapes. And you know, <laughs> look at the sky. They come in all different forms. You can take a, this is a pretty fluffy uh, round brush. It's a number eight. And I'm just going to pounce into my white and then kind of pounce off of, so I don't have too much. And just kind of start kind of dab, dapping it or whatever, just kind of tapping it down. And just kind of till you like the look of it. Clouds, some are, some are streaky, some are really full. That's all you have to do. You know how the sky looks, so there's no, that's it. And then put your little initials and a date, write a little note, and you are done. I always do something on the envelope too, so we might as well just go ahead and um, I guess I got a little piece of paint there, but your cloud would have taken up the... <laughs> you don't give yourself enough credit. No. Okay, so let's look at our design and kind of think what we want to do to go with this. So that when they get it out of the mailbox, they're going to be like, oh, what's this? You know, you want to make somebody's day. So I would take my little liner brush and probably... I kind of think that blue would be pretty for the envelope. Let's do that blue. 
actually that's the wrong blue but this will this will work it's just a different blue but we could just kind of come in here and make a little thing like this kind of like we did our flag where it's kind of wavy put name and address in here and then put yours over here or if you have a little sticker that you stick you know you could make it just the size of that sticker So you just have to fit your little address in there. But it kind of gives them a preview of what's in the card. I do this sometimes when I send packages out. I will, um, you know, draw something on the envelope, especially birds. You could do birds. Yeah, you could. You Like a on the card, you mean? So let's just go ahead and take our design, um, a little bit of it. What am I doing? I don't mean to do brown. Hold on. Hold please. Okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit of our design on our card. Just kind of whimsically. Pretty quick. Nothing, nothing fancy, of course. So just whatever paint is left on my palette is what I'm going to use, you know. They're going to get this out of the mailbox and just be like, what is this? y'all hear that um let's take a little liner brush i don't think i'm gonna paint in my sky but you could totally paint the whole sky blue i think i'm just gonna probably put a tree on here with some leaves so i'm just mixing my brown and my black to get a really dark brown And on my tree, a lot of times I will kind of just put some, you know, branches like that, hoping that they're going to show through my leaves. And if they don't, I will come back up here and just kind of draw a few in like this. Just sub subtle, but so that it looks like branches kind of popping through like that. Okay, so now we can do our little design. <gasps> Jeanette, did you make it to Dallas? Was that today? Yeah, I guess it is. So are you at the airport or are you doing something in Dallas? I didn't know if Dallas was a stopover or what. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of come in here. Let's do a different shape tree on this one. We'll kind of do like a big at the bottom and how they get smaller up there I'm just kind of kind of put a background first and then do things on top of it okay so i'm just going to go into the colors that i have on my palette i'm not going to wash this brush i'm not going to do anything special but just kind of start loading up my leaves on here so Now, when this, and this is obviously a very simplified little design, but just FYI, when you're painting trees or things like that, you know that the top is going to have the lighter colors and the bottom will have darker colors because the heaviness of the tree will be shaded down here and so it'll be darker and the light coming from the sun is going to make the top lighter. So that's just a little tip as you're doing yours if you want to make it look a little more realistic. Now this design it doesn't matter but just while I'm doing this I might as well teach something. Patty I am literally just using these little cards from Michaels. They came in a set on the clearance aisle so they're not uh, mixed media paper. Mixed media paper would be better. It would not bend as like, like it is, but it's okay. You know, nobody cares. I don't care. But um, so if you're interested in, in doing cards, either buy some mixed media paper, uh, watercolor paper, just buy heavier paper so that yours will stand up better. 
So then we'll go in and do some yellow. And I always put more yellow toward the top so that it brightens it up because like I said the the sun would be shining on the top you could add a few of the green and I'm gonna add a little yellow to the green so they're not so overpowering just add a few of those throughout and while I have that on my brush I'm just gonna come and bring it on down to the ground because why not I don't want to waste it But you see what I mean? How simple. So, so simple. Did we use all our colors? We did, except I didn't really go into the orange. Let me do the orange. And I, this time I'll mix a little orange with my yellow. I'm just not loving the orange by itself. So I'm going to add some of this, but with a little yellow. And there you go. You've got a card and a matching envelope that somebody's going to get and be like, what in the world? Who did this? Won't they love that? I mean, simple, kind of childlike or whatever, but yet eats. That's why I like it because it's easy and quick and you can pump a bunch of them out really fast. Um, I like to get mixed media paper. They are not, let's see, they are not taking any cards with envelopes okay oh okay also nothing I did read about no glitter yes yes thank you no it is the same yes they bundle your cards in a rubber band and send it. yes no Dana I'm glad you said that yes I need to put all the rules in our group but yes you're right about um, no glitter I saw that so watercolor paper if you buy the cheap watercolor paper, usually it's good enough for acrylics. This is actually not good for watercolor, to be honest. Uh, better, there's a lot better watercolor paper out there. Um, we go over all of that in my private group. But you can get, I'm looking for my little book. You can get a mixed media pad like this this is good for painting so you can paint any designs on it you can do your this is mixed media so it's like really thick so this this kind of paper will hold whatever you want to put on here um, I just have a lot of loose stuff in here too just testing things and trying things but anyway you, so you can cut this out just take it out and use that for a card or buy the larger size and cut it um, or you can also buy mixed media cards, but that is so simple to do. These are fine. They will work. And so for the military troops, we don't want to send an envelope, but for your friends, I think it's cute to have the matching envelope or something that kind of tells them something fun's inside. Uh, Christy? Stickles might be okay, but I don't know. Um, I know they were talking about glitter glitter, you know, like glitter glitter. So I'm not sure about stickles. So yeah, I might, might as well leave it off just to be safe. So there is a printable that has the rules. Yes, and I linked that in our group. And um, yeah, Jeanette, then we'll be back Sunday to overnight. Okay, I'll go back and read that Jeanette after my paint party. Um, to see what's going on. You can cut media paper half smaller than a card base, then paint your image on the media, then layer onto the card base. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Zena, you make cards, right? Do you have a business page? I know you do, don't you? If you do and you want to share it, put it on here. Um, let me turn my camera up because really that's all I have time for but like I said I was not gonna not go live let's see sorry guys I forgot to tell y'all to close your eyes while I am getting this adjusted bear with me one sec there we go okay I don't know why I have that gingerbread thing still up that is up from Christmas in July <laughs> and I just never think to take it down Okay, I hope you guys told me how your day's been and how your week has been because when I go back and read comments, 
sorry guys this thing is really it's not the best I'm gonna have to hold it you're gonna let your grandson be oh that's so good I love that Teresa hi Sue glad you're here yay so so fun who's gonna do it is anybody gonna make some cards if you do be sure and you can post them in my group you can post them in the art and craft showcase which is my free group you can post them here on my page or post them on your page and tag me but i would love to see if you make some so this is what we did sue just a couple of simple simple designs one for the troops and one just for to send a friend and say i'm thinking about you you know so many people have gone through sickness loss of a loved one um, hard times so we need to spread a little joy and kindness and a simple card would do the trick oh I'm sorry Allison I know days are hard thanks Sue I'm glad it, I'm glad you liked it okay guys you'll be making cards I saw that Linda I'm so glad yeah um, in our group we're doing it kind of as a group so that will be a lot of fun for us painted an angel today oh I want to see y'all be sure and get in the art and craft showcase and post away you can put your pictures in there and let everybody see them um, if you're selling something like you have something that you sell you can't like put it like hey for sale $25 but if you're like I take orders on these cards then somebody will message you you know just keep it keep it low-key and classy because people don't like selling you know they don't like us to sell to them so um but yeah you'll be making cards woohoo awesome okay guys thank y'all for being here i just appreciate y'all i appreciate every star thank you so much look how close we are to our goal <gasps> We're at 10,394 and my goal was 11,000. I didn't make it by the time frame, but that's not my fault. That's, you know, Mr. FB's fault. So, oh well, that's okay. I hope y'all have a great night. I'll be back tomorrow, I believe at five o'clock, unless it changes. Every now and then I have to change a time and I always put it on my page. Uh, yes, 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 post anything, sure, yes. We're going to do some embellishing together, so I'll do that on my page. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, but for sure, because um, I got that totally dazzled, bedazzler thing, I'm really excited to use it. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Thank you for popping in with me. Super fun and easy. So, hope you'll make some. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.